Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This week I'm going to be doing this look here in less than half an hour. I know, I did it last week when I was rushing out to go to the dentist and put it on my Instagram and a lovely lady called The Beanbag Room um, who says she's a middle-aged woman winging it through life said that she couldn't imagine doing it in half an hour and so I thought I would um, just do it and show her that you can do it and it can be done. So keep on watching if you want to see this whole look done in half an hour. But do make sure before you do to like the video, to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And thank you very much to everyone that um, has either recently or has been with me forever. And if you would like to buy me a Kofi, um, from as little as three great British pounds, you can do so by visiting my Kofi page, the link for which is in the description. So without further ado, let's get fast and fabulous. It's a completely naked face, apart from a tiny bit of Barry M eyeliner, because I did have to leave the house earlier today. Anyway, the key thing in doing your face really quickly is how it's prepared. And I have moisturized two or three times this morning. Um, once as soon as I got up, once just before I went out, and once when I came back in again. And the other thing, if you want to do a really, really, really quick face, is to make sure that you get a, well, this is what I think anyway, make sure that you get a mattifying and pore minimizing primer. I have one here, it's by Essence, and it's just, um, that's what it's called, mattifying and pore minimizing primer. And it comes out gray, which is, you know, nothing to worry about. But once you get it on, it will completely mattify and even out your skin so you've got a really good place to start. And this is where you really need to have something in the way of a moisturizer that's not too expensive. Um, I do mean moisturizer, I don't mean primer because if you're gonna be moisturizing your skin two or three times a day, as I do, you don't want anything that's like super expensive, otherwise you won't want to use it. So I use um, vitamin E day cream, which is by Superdrug in this country, in the UK. I don't know if you can get equally reasonably priced ones in America, I hope so. So once it's all <laughs> in your crevices, and has flattened you out and mattified you, the next thing you want to do is start with a, which sounds really weird, start with a finishing powder. And I've got the KVD, there it is, Locket uh, Finishing Powder. And it says finishing powder in the shade Fair. Comes in this lovely compact. And I start off just by mattifying myself even more. Obviously other finishing powders are available. And I'm gonna do it a lot more carefully than I did when it did only take me half an hour to do the whole face. Uh, because you're all watching and I want it to be nice. So that's the first stage and it sort, sort of evens you out even more than just the primer. So the next thing I usually do is take um, like a setting powder or just an ordinary powder. I've got one here which is called Mattifying Setting Powder by Collection. And I do love Collection because they're very reasonably priced and they're all um, cruelty free. So I go over the top of the finishing powder with this 
and this gives it a more sort of makeup-y looks like you've actually got some makeup on sort of look which I like you may not it's completely up to you obviously so we go over very quickly with that and then last of all well not last of all obviously but in terms of preparation I've got this white revolution powder matte base powder it's called and I've got a big fluffy brush which I'm gonna squidge with my fingers and just go underneath my eyes with it and maybe take it <laughs> round in some other places just where you want a bit of brightening so that's those out the way now instead of um, contour and blush I've got this lovely NYX Sweet Cheeks in the shade Boom and Bloom just take a biggish brush tiny bit and just do like a little contour and blush at the same time and I think this is a great um, way of killing two tasks with one product so there's that and then obviously go around underneath as well so there's all those done and then last of all on this particular part of the process we take some highlight and I'm going to use my sleek um, highlighting palette it's this gold one that you've probably all got and I'm just going to take the two powder shades and just highlight everywhere because <laughs> we do love a bit of highlight right so Bosch next item on the agenda is to oh I've forgotten my eye base bugger hold on one second and this too is a collection product it's the lasting perfection stretch concealer and eyeshadow primer so just put a bit of this on and as I said this was a requested video and if you do have any requests please do put them in the comments section um, I was thinking about maybe doing some more crafting videos if you'd like to see more of that let me know um, jewelry or paper craft or anything really that I've done before that you think um, you'd like to see me do again excuse me right so off we go now for this look you will need a black two toning colors a blending out pastel or white or skin tone doesn't really matter whatever suits you and a shimmer so for this look I'm going to use the one that I used in the original look which is the Beauty Bay Book of Magic now I know it's discontinued I know it was limited edition but a lot of you have got it I know and sometimes you can pick up um, not very heavily used palettes on second-hand sites or maybe you've got friends that haven't used theirs very much and want to get rid of them but it doesn't really matter what palette you use you just have to have a black two similarly toning colors one darker than the other and as I say a blending out or white color so what we're going to do is go in with the black and just get the outer third of the eyelid and under eye covered in that 
and these Beauty Bay um, blacks are very good so the next colour I'm choosing is the dark purple in this particular palette which is called Voodoo and I'm just going to start here just next to the black just so they blend in together and then take a little bit of it around the edge just so it peeps over the top and then very lightly incredibly lightly take it around and down like that okay very light hand required there um, the next thing to do is to take a cleanish brush um, and just blend and tickle that colour out slightly if you can. I'm going to put a little bit more under here. I don't mind using a big brush under here, but if you're not um, wanting such a huge look, obviously use a slightly smaller brush. Let's just get some of this fallout out of the way. Just tickle it round the edges like this. And then you can go in with another brush. Let's choose this one and take your second colour. I'm choosing Sorcery from this palette which is a slightly lighter purple and then some here and then take a making sure it's clean oh that's not clean at all that's got yellow on it we don't want that one take um, your favorite blending brush and is this my favorite no it's not but never mind <laughs> This is an MSN Cheap as Chips brush and so I'm just going to take the colours and the idea is is that we're trying to pull it out, just pull the colour that way from about the middle of where my eyebrow would be if it was there, just pulling it out and then tiny little circles to blend. I'm going to take a little bit more of that because it's such a pretty colour. I don't know what that is. Some sort of grubby dirt. Then I'm going to go back with, where's it got? here it is, with my black brush having given it a jolly good wipe on the tea towel just to get most of the black off it and then just give it a little bit of a windscreen wipe around like that not really putting any more colour on but just adding to how the blend is working and then depending on how much time you've got you can go back with your different um, brushes and Just keep on blending if you want to. Then lastly, not lastly, <laughs> I must stop saying that. The next stage is to either take your white or your very, very pale colour. And here I've got a very pale pink in this palette called Enchanted. And then this is going to take everything and hopefully blend it into nothingness. This is a very good pastel, this one. Right, and then grab your shimmer. I'm using the colour in this palette, which is called Crystal, because it's a beautiful um, duochrome. And I haven't got any glue or anything, because obviously you haven't seen me put any glue on. Just going to use my finger and start 
pressing it into the eye base which is there and just flick it tiny touch on the lid right in the center just do the other side I'm going to use a very small brush now just to finagle the ins and outs so there's a bit there bit there bit here getting it up like that and you can just keep going as long as you want really putting more or less or however much um, shimmer you want you can take it underneath you can put more on the actual lid um, possibilities are endless especially with lovely shimmers like this and then what I did do I was I took the brush because there's a lovely silver in here called moonlight and I did just put a little bit in the inner corners on top of that duochrome and it really makes it jump out quite well indeed as you can see so that's basically a uh, gallop through the colors I'm going to quickly curl my eyelashes and the other one and the reason that I personally do this is because it helps um, with the curl on the false lashes when they eventually go on so basically there we are there I have got, oh yes, here it is. I have got eyeliner. I've got my Essence Liquid Ink Liner. So I'm going to do um, a line with that. So there we are with that and then quick mascara again it's this is a bit of an essence program isn't it not sponsored at all love to be but you know not sponsored put a bit of mascara on and of course it's going everywhere because i'm trying to be so quick other eye and then you can always, whoops, you can always come back and um, redo your lower lashes at a later stage of the day. But it's all about getting you out the door, really. Fast and fabulous. Oh, I might call this video fast and fabulous. So I'm going to get my lashes over here and I'm going to put the glue on them. And these are some pound lashes. I can't remember the name of the style because I have thrown the box away, I'm afraid. But I do recommend pound lashes because if you look after them, they do last very well. And these ones that I'm using today, I will just hold them up are super curly there can you see how curly they are very 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 curly and of course this might take slightly longer than 30 minutes because i am talking to you and i hadn't pre-prepared my lashes by cleaning all the old glue off them which is very naughty um, if you are interested and you missed last week's video that was a tutorial on upper and lower false lashes um, which i don't think i've seen a lot of the people i follow do so if you are keen to find out more and you missed last week's do go back and have a look there we go so there's the glue on we will set the timer on my watch 
okay off it's going and in that time I will take my liquid lipstick by the Velvet Hexagon in the shade Sea Urchin which is a gorgeous gorgeous shade which is perfect for this look so save time doing it while the lash is dry oh this is such a lovely color and don't forget if you are new and you or you've missed a few videos you can get 15 percent off at the velvet hexagon by using my code stay strange or one word or lowercase and there are like about 37 million thousand billion different colors of liquid lipstick over there so you're bound to find one that um, is going to suit you and I'm just check oh look at that it's just going off just as I look this is the new uh, Garmin 965 watch in case there are any other runners watching highly recommend just give it a quick oh and of course I will need where is it here it is no it isn't oh, I'm sure I brought that over my um oh yes I did <laughs> my large felt tip for helping to push down the lash get the other one this glue will dry clear in case you're thinking what the hell is she doing it will dry clear okay oh let's get it in there squidge it right in so apart from waiting for the lash glue to dry clear I'm gonna say that is the look and it has taken not very long <laughs> I'm trying to look on the camera to see if it tells me how long it's taken but I don't think it does but anyway I will time it and I will put the time up somewhere so that you can see how long this has taken and I'm just going to go back to myself in the studio and we will debrief. Okay, I just checked and that was 29 minutes and change, which I think is not bad. So half an hour, fast and fabulous. I hope some of my tips help you. Um, if you are a person who does get into some time related scrapes, then this may be of use to you. Um, I do hope that you're all doing really well wherever you are in the world. Spring has really sprung here so I expect autumn is taking hold in the southern hemisphere and I know I've got quite a few more um, friends from down under who have been watching and commenting and being generally lovely. Don't forget wherever you are in the world there's going to be some elder goths hiding somewhere so you know give them a wave if you see them. Just remains for me to say, please look after the part of the world that you are in. Look after any animals that you are lucky enough to share your life with. But most of all, look after yourself and make sure to stay strange. Mm -hmm.